One thing I might point out about number six is that if the argument had said, um, laboratories provide just the right amount of food and just the right amount of exercise. Therefore, they skew studies because studies depend on the assumption that their animals are healthy. You would have gone, what? Why would having just the right amount of food and just the right amount of exercise mean that the animals are not healthy? And that's because that's what you naturally assume, that if you get the right amount of exercise and the right amount of food, you are healthy. In the same way, you may have naturally assumed that if you get too much food and not enough exercise, that you are unhealthy. And the test writers are preying on that natural inclination. The assumption of the argument is exactly that, that if you get ample food but not enough exercise, you're not healthy. Nobody said that was true. We just assumed it.